Take him out. Ah. I'm here for your Matsura. Give me your Matsura. You can't have it. Can you at least give me a tour? Yeah, come on, let's go. I'm so glad I get to learn more about Continental Machining Company. So let's start for the people out there that are watching. When did this company start? Did you just like buy this last year? How's it going? Well, we started in 1965. We've been in this location since 73. Okay. And I've been here since 98. I bought the company in 2020 from my dad. From your dad? Yeah. So this is a story about a family owned machine shop and you're gonna give us a little behind the scenes peek. Yep, that's what we're here for. So do you make stuff bigger than this or am I gonna see a lot of small stuff today? No, you're gonna see much bigger things than this, that's for sure. Well, Kelly, this one's just a little bit bigger. How big of a part can you throw on here? Bigger parts over here. We can turn 72 inch diameter on this machine. 72, okay. So compared to the small pieces we were just looking at up front, these are just a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. That's an interesting material you've got on the table there right now. What is that? Yeah, we do all types of materials here. That there is Rexolite. It's kind of like an acrylic. Okay. But a little different, a little bit more expensive. High tech stuff there. Is it easy to machine? It's tricky, I'll say that. Okay. I'll say that. So you're used to figuring out how to work a material. Yes. Very cool. Let's head on to the next stop. Sounds great. Okay, Kelly, I feel like we're gonna kind of go from biggest to smallest, but we're sitting in front of this giant watch on right now. So what kind of parts can you throw in here? We Usually stuff that's coming off that big BTL is coming over here. Okay, that makes sense. We've big got, parts to big parts. We've got 33 inches in Y, 80 inches in X. We also have a fourth axis rotary table that plugs onto this thing. Okay. And it's a great fit for us. It's always busy. You think defense, people are thinking small. We do big parts in defense. We fill that niche. It's great for us. It's a great market. So we're in front of your horizontals, Kelly. How many horizontals do you even have in this company? I'm counting quite a few. Yeah, this is one of seven that we have. Okay, so you got a lot of capacity. What kind of work do you get to put through on your horizontals then? These ones are a great platform for anything from production work to prototype work. Okay. We also have a night shift that keeps it business going for 20 hours a day. So we have night shift on one pallet, day shift on another. Very, very versatile machines for us. So you can use it for, our, so it's cool that you have different work capacities. You're not just a high production shop then. Correct. We do a lot of prototype, do very, very small batches. It's how our business has been built. Well, we got to go on and check out that Matsura over there. Let's do it. I love that thing. This isn't your only five axis, but is it your favorite five axis? This is by far my favorite five axis we have. We got the MX330 with the PC10 connected to it. What kind of work does this allow you to get done here? This one gets all types of stuff. This one gets us into the production world. We can run lights out with this machine, run it through the night. We can run it with people standing in front of it, without it, whatever. But we also get into the high mix, low volume stuff over here. We're doing prototype work over here. We can set up multiple different stations, multiple different jobs, part numbers, you name it. It's very versatile for what we do. And you're sure I can't steal this? Like, I could get a flat deck here real quick. Ah, but I don't have a forklift for you. Is this the only lathe you got? No, this is one of 11 lathes that we have here. What kind of work do you end up putting through your lathes? Our lathes are still aerospace defense stuff, great industry, um, lots of R&D that goes on. We have some TL1s from Haas, great little onesie twosie parts made off of those things. And then we can get into high production on some of our Mori lathes and our DS30Y. Great, great platforms, great machines that we've had, got here. What size range of parts do you like to get through the shop then? Our bread and butter size is gonna be in the six inch up to 24 inch diameters. We can go all the way up to 72 and obviously we can go all the way down to 10,000, just like most people can. In machining, if you can't measure it, you can't make it because how are you gonna hit the print? So how do you handle that here at Continental Machining? Well, for us, we have a robust quality department. We have two CMMs, both with full fact, five axis, rotatable heads and then we also have a 3d scanner that handles some of that that's very cool what else do you have here for measurement you know your typical height gauges thread mics gauge pins air gauges optical comparators so you're set you know anything you quote on you're gonna be able to measure every inch of that part we should sure can in the world of defense and aerospace there's a lot of complex 3d surfaces how do you even measure that here well a lot of our customers send us a drawing that has features pole sizes, threads, things like that. Yeah. But then they say reference the CAD model for everything else. And so we take it over to our 3D scanner okay. and scan the model and we can lay it over uh, the actual model, scan the part, and we get a heat zone. We can do heat mapping over it, we can set a tolerance and see where exactly the part's sitting within the tolerances that we've set. 
So with that, can you then just make your offsets and you know that you're compliant? Yeah, it'll get out a report, tell us what the profile tolerance is on that feature, and we know that our guys out on the shop floor are making parts right away that are good. That is so cool, because that's a very new technology. You never used to be able to do that. It was a whole lot of guesswork. Yeah, we bought this machine about a year ago, and it's really helped our throughput in quality. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap here at Continental Machining Company. I'm so grateful to Kelly Dennison and the whole team for having us through. This is one company that is extremely serious about advancing their capabilities in the defense and aerospace industry, and they continue to invest. So make sure you check out the rest of the videos we have coming, doing a deep dive on their Matsura MX330 PC10 and how it's helping them grow their business. Thank you.